What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of The Ghost of Tomorrow. I'm not really sure what's going on here. She's, like, home now, which I don't know what that means. But, um, I guess we'll fucking find out. Whoa, what the fuck? What's wrong with this TV? Yo. What is going on in this house? This door's open. It's the fucking bathroom. Yo, what? The doctor has told me that writing my thoughts is therapeutic and might help me with the trauma. How much more can I handle? After losing my daughter to a murderer, which itself is a horrible tragedy, my husband has been very absent. Our daughter's death has been devastating to him, and understandably so. I myself feel devastated too. However, I try to move forward with my life with him and my son, Dylan. Of course, the death of his sister has also affected Dylan gravely, especially for a young 18-year-old boy, but at least I still feel he is around me, unlike my husband. He tries his hardest to still give emotional support to his family. Still, my son's behavior has also changed. I quite don't know how to put it, but something about him seems different. I mean, fuck, man. Like, loss is some serious shit. Especially murder. I feared my husband could be back on alcohol, could be back to alcohol addiction. Aside from being absent in our, fam in our family's life, now he seems to be drowning his sorrows with alcohol like he once used to. This once old habit, which he had overcome a long time ago, a few years after our marriage, has now creeped in again. His family always had a history of depression, alcohol addiction, and other mental illnesses. I'm worried for him. I don't know what to do. He barely talks to me. And when we do, it's just arguing. We argue about what happened to Amanda. He gets mad at me because he thinks I'm insane. He doesn't believe me when I say it. When I say something about our daughter's murder wasn't right. I know something. She knew she was in trouble. I know that somehow she knew she was in trouble. We could have done something to stop it. Oh man, you can't just like, it's like when like, the fuck? The fuck? Hey bro. Okay. So today I found out that my son is doing drugs. Oh fuck, okay. I think that that Gale monster not only killed our daughter, but he killed each one of us. Amanda's death has left a uh, turmoil in this family and I don't know what to do. Unfortunately, my son has a lot of his father in him. I tried talking about, about it with him, but he just won't. How much more can I handle? I myself have been depressed ever since Amanda died, but I am not one to channel my depression into substance abuse. Good for you. That's just not the way I was taught to confront things in my house. I try to keep my faith with God and I find some peace with him, within him. I'm the only one trying to keep the family together here from breaking apart. Fuck, man. People react differently to things, you know? I mean, I'm not saying that drugs it. Mama? Mama? Fuck. Oh, okay, we're actually supposed to go this way. I'm not saying that drugs is the way, but... I sometimes go to Amanda's room and I try to find some comfort. Being in her room, being in her room reminds me of her. I almost feel like she's around here. 
A few days ago, I swear I saw a figure that looked like Amanda walking down the hall. I also heard mysterious footsteps around the house when I'm alone. It has to be her. Her spirit is following me. All right, look. You're starting to get a little, a little crazy. Call James Tuesday. All right, cool. Let's give James a call on Tuesday, you know? Dude, all the TVs though, it's hilarious. I spoke to my husband about the day I saw Amanda and of course he thinks I'm insane and delusional. He immediately dismisses any conversations related to Amanda. He is afraid, afraid to confront anything related to her. It's almost like he wants me to forget about her entirely. We've been discussing a divorce. He says that being around the house makes him more depressed. He rented an apartment for himself and I barely see him or talk to him. How much more can I handle of, if this, of any of this? My boy Dillian is barely around. His drug addiction has taken a toll on him. Oh, fuck. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, fuck. Come on, really? I gotta find a way to get out. Bro, me too. Oh, got a key. Oh, what the fuck? It's all red. Stop. Stop the madness. Yo, uh, that's what Gail said. How much longer? Are these just all... Dude, what the fuck? There's a key. Martha keeps insisting I should write down my thoughts because it will help me cope with the pain. I tried so many times to write my thoughts down but I can't even put into words what I'm going through right now. My daughter was murdered, my son is doing drugs, and I feel like I've been a bad father. I was never there for Amanda or my son Dylan. All I've ever done is work to support them, but barely spent time with them. I wish I could have been there for my son, but I can't. I failed you both, I failed you both. I'm sorry, Amanda and Dillian. I failed you. I love you both. Dude, that sounds like a fucked up letter, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I think that he just... He's on it, dude. Yo. Father murdered. Roommate commits suicide. Father of murder roommate commits suicide. Arthur Graham found dead in his apartment. No, who the fuck are you? Dude, his eyes are red. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! What just happened? Yo, what? Amanda, can you read my text? Yes, what's wrong? I can't believe it's you. This is unreal. It really is you, Amanda. What's going on? I would 
You were gone. I thought I would never speak to you again, but Christ, I was at your funeral, but believe me. Thank you for... Oh, shit! Chapter one, done. Damn, this is a good-ass game. This was good. It was definitely super creepy. Time slip phone guy. <laughs> one can only hope to be time slip phone guy in their life. Man, that was cool. That was fun. Uh, and like I said, this is only chapter one. So I'll keep an eye out for chapter two. And we'll have to get in on that for sure. Oh, funny. It totally opened up a thing on the side of my screen. It just opens up a tab for the game when you press quit. Okay. All right, guys. As always, thanks for hanging out. I hope you enjoyed chapter one of The Ghost of Tomorrow. Um, as always, guys, you can find me on Twitter at AlexBPhoto11, streaming games live over on Twitch, twitch.tv slash phantom411205. Hit the subscribe button for new here, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.